and welcome to Wrong Way. <laughs> yeah. And today we are going to check out the EV4 Gremlin, a electric bike with three wheels, basically looking like a Mars rover. Let me tell you more about it, and let's get there. Spring. Okay guys, so I'm back at home to tell you a bit more about this incredible machine that is the EV4 uh, Gremlin. And also huge thanks to EV4 for loaning me uh, this vehicle for testing purposes. And before we get into the specs, the overview and all that about the Gremlin, I was pretty shocked to find out that this thing that looks like a Mars rover just costs something around a thousand dollars and i think for such a spectacular machine for a machine that looks so different than anything else pretty much on the market this is a really good deal and i will tell you why so to categorize the ev4 gremlin it's basically a portable seated tricycle or scooter because it doesn't have any pedals it just has uh, these footrests on the bottom and it just rides electrically basically like a scooter but it also has a seat and it has three wheels and it turns like a bicycle. So it has uh, this incredible mechanism that EV4 is known for that lets you turn with the handlebar and lean on the device. So it's not like a trike or a quad, it just stays flat and you just have to lean only with your body. But the machine itself also leans and and this is quite incredible. But let's get back to the specs. It has a 350 watt uh, nominal powered motor in the rear. It's a 36 volt system. Battery is 13 amp hours, making it basically as big as the Xiaomi M365 Pro. Meaning the range should be anywhere around like 25, 30 kilometers. Um, the weight of the whole device is actually not that big because it's just around 23 kilograms. So it's just like five kilograms heavier than a nine baht max. And it's still quite short. Um, you can see the exact length on the screen here and the comparison to the nine baht max. Obviously it has three wheels. The rear one is a pretty big one for the PV world. Well, except for electric unicycles. It's a 16 and a half inch wheel and the front wheels are smaller. <laughs> they're actually called mini racing. Uh, I think they're around 10 inches big, something like that. But they are also much wider than the rear one, making the look of the Gremlin really interesting. It doesn't have any suspension, but the wheels are quite big and soft in this machine, so I think the ride comfort should be pretty good. It is also a folding machine, and this was also the thinking process behind the Gremlin to make it just portable 
and affordable. So the um, steering column folds, you can adjust the height of the seat and also lower it down to its uh, lowest possible position. And the footrests also fold, which is a nice add-on. And in this folded state, it actually does fit into a regular sized family... What is it? Hatchback. The battery is removable, so you can charge it on the device or just separately, leaving the device outside, which I would <laughs> probably never do. Charging time depends on the charger, but EV4 tells me it's around uh, three hours. You can also get separate batteries for it. These are like e-bike batteries, so you can switch them around uh, if you fancy to do so. And the battery is also secured with a key, so no fear of uh, getting in out without any tools needed. It also has this like luggage area in the front and in the rear, and you can put some baskets there, increasing the uh, practicality of this device dramatically, because you can't put so much stuff on a scooter and a bicycle would be bigger than that. So this is pretty cool. It also comes with a set of lights up in the front. I didn't see any lights in the rear, sadly, but I think that's a, but I think that's a thing that they can add on later to this device. Um, it also has a single brake in the rear. It's a Shimano, like semi-hydraulic uh, brake, I think. And it brakes really well, but it can skid if you have a slippery surface. So it might not be as effective if you have a slippery surface or if you want to brake like really, really, really fast. But uh, the top speed of this thing is anywhere like between 25, 30 kilometers an hour. So I think this is just enough for this um, gremlin. <laughs> You can't call it an e-bike or a scooter or whatever. It also has a display with modes and several things are shown on this display. Uh, battery indicator modes and so on, speed. Always kept it in the highest possible settings. Here you can see the acceleration. It's very, huh, well, um, not exciting. I think EV4 sh should definitely have a couple of vehicles that are more powerful to just increase the fun factor of uh, this device and it's made of aircraft grade aluminium or aluminum. This is what makes it so light and uh, and EV4 has actually experience in servicing um, uh, airplanes like regular airplanes aircraft and this is also like the inspiration and uh, the engineering process be uh, behind those vehicles so this is actually pretty interesting. Okay so now you know what the EV4 Gremlin is all about and now I want to Tell you a bit more about the ride. Okay guys, first time riding the Gremlin. I, I, I didn't realize that it would be so small. First of all, it's probably as long as a Xiaomi scooter or a 9bot Max. I gotta say it's really, really compact. And if you have seen any of my previous videos about EV4 vehicles, you know that in fact there's balancing and that's why there is actually a kickstand right there see that because they yeah they don't stand on their own <laughs> they're tilting devices and if you if you look at the front like from here look what is happening here it's like <laughs> it's so different so without further ado let's hop on this beast and see all the details that are happening there. Boom! It rides so... <laughs> Damn it. It rides so differently than a... Um, but they ride like bicycles. They lean in every direction and you actually turn with leaning and with this stuff. It's such a bizarre experience but very pleasant. You feel like on a motorcycle and you have more stability because you have like three wheels, which is really cool. Okay, okay, so this is apparently how fast it will go, like a Xiaomi N365 scooter. You can see actually that it has, um, well, it has a display here with all the stats. It has lighting, which you can turn on here. Bell. And it doesn't have suspension. But it doesn't feel so bad, actually, on the road. We have a big tire in the rear. Uh, I will check the size later. And two smaller tires in the front, which are quite wide. They feel a lot. A lot. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> of grip, which is kind of funny. Speed is very slow, um, 25 kilometers an hour. The brakes are pretty good because they're, well, they're hydraulic brakes, which is good. Yeah. But yeah, there is no brake in the front. Yeah, you can do that. Um, <laughs> this is my brake in the front, look. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyhow, let's, ch let's check maybe the turning circle, turning radius. And to turn more, you actually need to lean, because if you don't lean, this is the turning circle, like half of the street, pretty much. But if you do lean, um, uh, wait a minute, this will be the turning circle. Well, not so much less, but still a bit less. So yeah, I gotta say that the, oh, look at that, the uh, EV4 Gremlin is really a quite, it's quite, quite a interesting device. It can pack a ton of stuff actually with the basket up in the front and in the rear, or the storage area. It has a really interesting design of course, and it also sort of works well. Anyways, I really like the nimbleness of this device, and it's also not really wide, so it will fit perfectly on a bicycle path. And a cool thing about this device is also that you can order it just in parts. So now that we all spend a bit more time at home, you can actually order this thing in a crate just with the parts and assemble it yourself, which is, I think, really awesome. It is a really, really cool option. And basically, if you like tinkering or building stuff, this could be your next project. You can also choose a variety of colors. Uh, EV4 has all of these fluorescent colors, which also make the device more visible. And last up, uh, it's the art. Like, come on, I, now a smooth B-roll is showing the engineering behind uh, the EV4. Go. It's always such a pleasure to me to visit EV4 and look at how all these devices are working. Uh, because uh, one thing is functionality and practicality and the second thing is art. And boy oh boy, this thing turns some heads. Um, yeah, it's just... It's just so different and you can see all the parts moving. <laughs> I'm sure that if you drive in rain, these all, you have to clean a lot, but I think it's worth it actually. And the price is not so steep for this device and I would be ser seriously considering getting such a vehicle if you like need to transport more stuff instead of a scooter for this amount of money. So I think that the functionality is pretty big here and the art or like beauty design aspect of this thing. Now, I know it's not everyone's taste, not everyone likes these sort of designs, but I love this uh, Martian Rover. I think it looks really, really cool and it still has a lot of practicality. A thing you definitely need to add is mud guards, but other than that, it's really, really, really cool. So yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised with the EV4 Gremlin, especially with the price point that it's at, with the custom frame, everything is done uh, in-house by EV4. Hopefully EV4 will come out with a version that has more battery and a more powerful motor to make this device even more compelling. But for now, this has been the EV4. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. And once again, huge thanks to my patrons, which are listed on screen now.